deal breaker in terms of love languages? What love language are you not looking for? I think definitely uh, like receiving gifts yep. and then any, anything around the, the idea of like materialism, right? Because yep. I feel like it says a lot about a person yep. and, and what exactly they value. Mm -hmm. Getting gifts and receiving gifts and giving gifts is like what they're striving for in life. I think it says a lot. meeting 20 people or being in front of cameras. I don't know which one's worse. Can you tell me what it's like dating as a teenager? It's almost as if it's only about you. Just teenagers, right? They don't have to worry about anything else. They don't have to worry about no bills. And at the same time, they have things like parents involved. There's school going on still. So it's like interesting. I usually, you know, prefer someone that is shorter than me. But uh, I'm 5'9". I'm if I strap on some basketball shoes, maybe I'm 5'10". Maybe I'm 5'10". <laughs> In terms of, like, their, their build and whatnot, I don't have too much of a preference. Bro, so much so that they're okay with my... Bro, you got a preference. Cut it out. <laughs> you got a preference, buddy. You got a preference. Cut it out. You just don't want to say it. I feel you, though. I hope. I guess I can say. Yeah, you don't want no turkey, girl. Buddy, buddy wants a shorter woman that not even close to his height because he'd be like, well, if she wears some heels, she gonna be my height. I don't care about that. I don't care about none of that. I mean, it is what it is. But I, I think based on our backgrounds and how we're raised and how we're reared, we have a certain, you know, type of woman that we that we that we aspire to get one day. And a lot of times the women that we are attracted to, supposedly, a lot, you know, suppose for the most part, their features are similar to ours. And I think there was a scientific study on this. A lot of you guys be like, that's not true. That's not true. I get it. I'm just saying this is how I think they did a, a study on this about having similar features, similar facial structures as your own that you tend to be attracted to or want to procreate with or Mary settled down he's he's an Asian dude and from my experience them dudes like having like thin women where they can wrap their hands around their waist and very slim not many not very curvaceous and things like that so they like a much smaller woman with like a boy preteen boy body I'm just saying that's I think that's from to, from my understanding that's what they like. I've been with about three people. Was in high school and um, very unpredictable, as uh, many high school relationships are. Mm.
<laughs> Isn't this funny how we've come? Like, I mean, I know this is like a show and experiment, but it's just like everybody's on social media, just da, 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 just tapping away, and like, you know, it's so hands off instead of asking questions directly, verbally. Everybody has things to learn from their first relationship. The fact that matters is that people's first ones aren't always the best one, and I would just rather not be that first one. my like social battery sort of like runs out faster than most people uh, but I, I still like to go out and like be with people be around people spend time with people I could be a little bit like uh, I get too comfortable with with not exploring and then not seeing new things and um, sometimes it'd be nice to have somebody that could you know drag me out to things or uh, like convince me to, to to try something new exactly they value mm -hmm. getting gifts and receiving gifts and giving gifts is like what they're striving for in life i think this says a lot definitely agree with the young brother i think that's and you can say well it doesn't have to be monetary it can be a sandwich it can be a bowl of soup you're it's just about you receiving gifts you receiving gifts now i know y'all probably gonna paint this well gift can be your time no, that's its own love language, guys. <laughs> guys, don't try to pull that. So I, I I agree with that as well. You know, receiving. I think that is that shouldn't even be one, but I guess it is. No, I guess it is. It it is. I think she was the one that like would bake and stuff like that. And I thought that was really nice of her. The part that feels bad is like I don't exactly like know know them. So it's just like it feels like I'm already like 
cutting that, you know, possibility off without getting to fully know them yet, but... Do you think that the way that someone talks through text can still, like, reveal a lot about their personality? There are a lot of, you know, um, shallow people, I guess you could say, right, that will uh, immediately judge you just from your appearance. Um, I guess through text, you really do get to see people for who they are. And again, you never know. Some people really do filter themselves when it comes to texting, where they have a different, almost personality sometimes when they're texting in comparison to like being in person you guys um, go to school or you work yeah i go to school i think it's completely different it is completely different when somebody texting um as opposed to face to face you know people have time to think on text they have time to rehearse they have time to go back and forth and Oh, that's not right. Delete. Go back. Instead of just saying what's on their mind. You know, some people just say what's on their mind. <laughs> you know, say it, you know, immediately. But uh, yeah, I think that's the thing. I know this thing isn't um ending right now with just four. Sheesh. He he he's stuck with four. I mean, what's going on, man? I go to school, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I go. Where do you guys go? I go to um Fullerton. Fullerton? Fullerton? Yeah, I'm becoming mm -hmm. a, that's where I'm going to get my teaching degree and everything. Oh nice. I would get really nervous talking to people in general, but it's like, if I could do this, I can conquer the world. So I guess that was it, guys. Um, Down to four at the end of the day. So <clears throat> you can't really, it's not directly picking, but you are saying what's on your, on your mind. So he's got four. I don't know what happens after this. If there's a follow-up video that goes with this, but I haven't seen it. It ended on that note. So I guess we could just leave it at that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree to book that one-on-one. -on -one. Make sure you guys follow me on IG. I'll follow you back. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit all notifications. Subscribe to my backup channel, JR Wisdom Unlimited. And subscribe to the Hustlers Apprentice channel right now. Make sure you guys join up to uh, become a member of this channel to receive exclusive perks. You know, I look forward to uh, fellowshipping with you guys on there as well as my Patreon as well. You know, I invite you guys to um, become a patron today. Purchase all my books and merch, like I said already. If you guys are interested and you're looking for love, every Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is my dating show called The Cuffing Reason Show. If you're interested in being a guest, DM me on Instagram or email me at jrwisdomunlimited at gmail.com. look forward to hearing from you guys. Also, tune in Thursday, every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the fried chicken. <laughs> I always laugh when I say that. The Fried Chicken and Communion Podcast. It's going to be lit. I look forward to seeing you guys there. That being said, man, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's true beef maker. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth.